Hey folks, I got something to show y'all today. It It's not food related, but it's related to me, my channel, that I use for editing. Now, it's called a stream deck. Stream deck, not steam deck. That's something different. But the stream deck, several of the, the people that I work with, they had one of these and they have used them for streaming video, whether it was on Twitch or uh, YouTube or wherever, but it allows you to switch between different things that you want to show people watching your, your live stream. I decided to try, I, to, I decided to get one to try it out because listening to what people use these for this thing i think is misbranded it's more than just a stream deck you can use this for more than just streaming uh, i'll show you that in just a little bit uh here coming up but i've decided to use this with my editor with final cut pro to help me you know do things with final cut pro uh you can assign and i'll show you that in a sec you can assign these different buttons to be different functions and uh mostly i th these are hot keys for final cut pro so the majority of the time i use trim start trim in delete uh trans transcode export that exporting it for youtube undo yeah if you make a mistake and then you can you can program another button for another use or to go to another menu. So these are primarily what I use. So I'm just gonna show you this real quick and some possible other uses for the, the Stream Deck. I got the small one here. This is the Stream Deck Mini. It has six buttons, but like I said, you can program it to, to scroll to assign other buttons to it. So you can, you can do more than six functions at once. And uh, it, I don't know if that camera picks it up, but you can see these are these are backlit, and these are these are icons that you can download for free from uh, this company is called Elgato, and you can go to their their download site and download different uh, icons depending on the application you're using or the function you want to use. But I was able to download these, and these are so easy at a glance I can see them. It's so much easier than me. Because my keyboard is way down here, and I like to keep my uh, trackpad way up here. And so I find it difficult to try to keep my eye on the edit and then try to like move between the different keys. And sometimes if I have to do like a two key stroke or a three key, you know, I, I, I get lost. So it's much easier for me to have this Steam Deck right here where I can... I can literally keep my uh, my fingers over here on this, go in, out, delete, in, out, delete, uh, whatever I want. And I, you know, as I uh, use it more and more, I can start assigning different keys for, for different editing functions. But uh, I think this is fantastic. So I'm just gonna show you kind of a quick scenario of editing, the, editing a new video that I'm working on. So let's take a look at this. This is right at the very beginning. So I'm going to hit play. Now right there, I want to back up a little bit. And then I want to trim the end right there. You can see that. And then hit delete. And then... Hey folks, I finally found Doritos... And continue on. ...pickle flavor. Yeah. Tangy pickle flavor. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna jump ahead because I know where I wanna. I wanna edit this. So, take a bite, and then I wanna mark that in, and I wanna go to this point. And I wanna mark. Oh, sorry. Okay, I want to start there. And then I want to pick. 
pick it up right there. So I'm going to end there and I'm going to delete that. I'm going to take another bite here. Begin there. And then end there and delete. And if I felt like I made a mistake there, I can hit undo and it will undo that delete, but I do want that delete. So I will continue on with that. Okay, there's one more bite. Insert. And then end, delete. Yep, that looks good. And then end it right there. Delete. And there we go. That's the whole video. I'm not actually going to go through it, but what I do is I do this and open up my transitions and then double click that adds my transitions and then I like to I have to delete that that one there at the beginning now I'm all set so then I would go back to the very beginning I would normally at this point add text uh, I'm not going to do it for this exercise I'm just going to show this real quick so I'm going to press this uh export and give it a title pickle doritos and i want to double check my settings yep. resolution is correct and then hit next and then i just save that right into my youtube folder and watch this little indicator up here okay that's that's pretty much it uh with the editing using the 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 stream deck so i'm gonna end this right here this portion anyway stream deck application that you uh download and this is the uh, profile i have set this is my final cut pro profile you can add like i said you can add new profiles. You can edit the profile. This is what I currently have for the icons. Now you can uh, go to the uh, Elgato Marketplace. And here you go. So you can search for yeah, Final Cut Pro. And then here's your icons. You can actually get complete profiles. I have not decided to do that yet, but I might once if I if I start using this and find I want to get a bigger stream deck because uh, you can get them with multiple buttons and everything and they're a lot more money I think I forgot the the to mention the uh, stream deck mini was fifty nine dollars on Amazon I'll put a link in the description box below to order that and you can look at some of the other more uh, advanced ones they have that have more buttons more things to select but. I want to go back to this Unity. I work in a game development studio and we use Unity for creating video games. But they actually have where you can get Unity plugins uh, that allow you to, uh, you know, it gives you all your hotkeys. So that would be really cool. So you could search for a number of different, uh, I don't know, Premiere Pro, maybe. I haven't looked, but I'm sure they do. Yeah, so you can get you can get icons for Premiere Pro, whatever editor you use. And I would suggest going to uh, Elgato and 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 look 
find out what what application you use. I mean, it doesn't have to be a video editor. It could be, you know, an audio editor. It could be a number of different things. It could be just just your desktop. And the Stream Deck works with uh, uh, Windows and Mac, so you're you're good to go. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope uh, you found that interesting, useful. Uh, whether you're doing video editing or, or, or not even editing at all, just you know you want to have some quick buttons for doing different things. You could probably use it for spreadsheets. Uh, you know, a number of different applications. Just go to Elgato's website and look for profiles and icons and stuff like that, and play around with it. But like I said, I think the the Stream Deck is misbranded. I it it should be I don't know some magic. Metapad, I don't know. <laughs> just something other than a stream deck because it, it's useful for more than just streaming. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching.